Let me just first start off this video by saying I wanted to come on here raw, unfiltered, and natural for the girls. She's so pretty. She's so cute. That's me. Girl. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. It is right now 8.28. I can see. Y'all, I'm literally, I'm all over the place. For one, my throat is messed up. I don't know what's wrong on my, going on with my throat. But my throat hurts. I was fine yesterday. Then I woke up this morning and couldn't even talk. And the only reason I found out is because when I was getting my cheeks clapped this morning by my husband, I couldn't moan. And I was like... Where's the noise? I'm trying to make a little small bit of noise and it's not coming out. So a little too much information, my bad. But that's how I found out I didn't have no voice. I couldn't, I couldn't even make a, I couldn't do nothing, no noise. And he checked on me like, hey girl, you, you straight down there. Yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm, but I, I don't know what's going on. The kids been getting us sick, like back to back. So. I do need to go to the store and buy some more multi gummies and all of that. But I just wanted to give y'all a little quick, I'm guessing I'm gonna do a day today or whatever. I have really been um, falling off for everything. As y'all can see, look at my face. Like I don't take care of my face anymore. I have not been into nothing. So I have been trying to like just restart and you know, get back into myself. It's been taking a little bit of time um, I'm going on a little detox. That's what I plan on doing. That's what I wanted to start. Um, first I want to give thanks to God, um, for everything he's been doing for us and just blessing me to be, you know, healthy, not dying here to see my kids and just, you know, on a journey to keep going mentally, physically able to get up out the bed and do what I got to do. I thank God almighty all the time, Lord, Jesus Christ, my savior. That's my man first right there, okay? I thank God every day <clears throat> for all the blessings. Um, so I wanna I wanna detox. I really wanna detox. I've been drinking, I just wanna admit, I have been drinking every day since um I wanna say since before October. It was a little bit after me and my husband's um anniversary in September twenty-fourth. I've literally been drinking every day. That's not good. Like as you can see, my face looks puffy. Alcohol is not something you, you're not supposed to drink every single day. It's not good. And I was just talking to my mom about it. And she even was saying like, you know, I'll even go on a detox with you. Like, you know, just let's work on you. You know, gotta get you back to the motivated Leisha. We gotta get you back to, you know, being focused. And I'm like, yeah, I just, I just sometimes like, I just be really stressed. Like some stuff just be way too much. Like. You know, like me and my husband, we thinking, you know, we want to buy a house and stuff. And then we try to look at houses and stuff. And y'all, these houses are too expensive. So it stresses me out. Thinking to myself, am I not going to be able to buy a house for me and my family? Because like, it's seven of us. And I don't want to ever feel like I'm not going to be able to do that. I want to do it. I want to buy a house. And I'm like, I'm losing my mind because I'm looking at houses for our size family. You know, like nice uh modern style i like modern style that's the style we like um my favorite builder is mi homes that's my favorite and the prices they have for five and six bedrooms is like eight hundred thousand and up there's it's like nothing underneath it and it's like that's a lot of fucking how like i'm not even gonna get into it so it's like i've been stressed out about you know because i want to buy a house and also I've been stressed out just about, I, I need to, I want to better myself as far as physical. Like, I've been beating myself up a lot lately, and I just want to just get out of that. And I, I can tell I've been lacking because, like, my house is a mess. Like, look at this. I put this out last night, and it stayed here all night. My counter is full of shit. I got stuff on this stove. Like their table is a mess. The high chair need to be wiped down. I need to go do laundry. I need to wash a couple of dishes in here. Yes, yeah, a couple of little dishes in here. This butter can empty. I ain't throw it away. Like I'm just really lacking. And hold on, let me get my tripod. 
yeah girl i'm just really like lacking and i really need to get out of that i'm just like far behind so as far as my hair like i can't be on this journey if i'm not doing the things i said i was gonna do my kids let a fly in the house yesterday what my little let me use this because i gotta wash these today i gotta catch that fly but i I've really been lacking when it comes to like a lot of um, things that I need to do. And I'm on a journey. <clears throat> JR, no. Eat your, eat your tickets. Come here for your Cheetos. Like, when I say I'm lacking on everything, the kids ain't had their hair done. I ain't had my hair done. I was in the middle of taking his braids out. Like, it's just a lot. Hold on, JR, let me get your snack. If I'm gonna be on a hair journey, how I'm gonna be doing my little, how I'm gonna be inspiring y'all if I'm not even doing what I'm supposed to do? So, it's like, he eat these little Cheeto puffs in the morning sometimes because he's allergic to everything. He can't have grits, he can't have oatmeal, he can't have nothing. I try to get him like little um, pancakes, he don't like it. So, and he's allergic to eggs. So I'll start him off with like a little bit of Cheeto puffs. And then after that, he'll I'm gonna make him um, some carrots and mashed potatoes. There you go. Like I gotta get more in tune with myself um, as far as you know my hair, my body. I want to. I want to get in shape. There was a point in my life where like I didn't care about like my stomach or whatever, but now it's like i'm getting older so i don't want it to come in to get to the point where i'm shaped like a damn ice cream cone or something like we're not doing that i don't want to do that and not only that it's just the feeling i be having in my gut it's like it's really uncomfortable because i've been drinking all this <clears throat> all my little wine coolers and um you know i take like two shots every day and then I'll be having my ice cream shake. So that's like putting a lot on my stomach. So a lot of times my stomach just be feeling like really uncomfortable and it's just really, it's been really pudgy. So I'm like, okay, girl, you need to get on the road cause we gotta stop this. So I'm going to detox. Not only that, it's like messing with my skin, you know, not staying on top of my skin anymore because I just don't feel like trying to look cute. I don't feel like taking care of myself, pampering myself. Like I did my hair and I just left it. I didn't do anything to it. It's like, I've been really lazy when it came, comes to taking care of myself and doing my kids hair. I usually try to make sure I do their hair all the time. Like I haven't done their hair like all month, like almost probably two months. And I don't usually do that. So I guess mentally I just haven't been there and just me starting to drink like that in October, it was like, it was just really crazy. So I'm like, I gotta, I gotta fix this. I really want to work on myself. And I just be thinking about the kids and how life is just so crazy. Like they raising rent prices like crazy. It's just, it's really a headache. Like, I don't like the idea that they could just increase these prices like this. Like this shit is so stressful. And then you got, I, can, I don't even want to get into that. Cause I'm not, I'm not into politics. I'm not gonna be having that conversation. But the issue is, people need like, we need a break. Like it's like every minute you paying something, every minute of your life. It's like you know, and then these schools, they asking for so much. It's like stressful. We need this. We need that. We need this. I'm like, girl. So do I. You ain't the only one. Like, come on now. And also, you know, I just been really upset that I gotta get braces again. I feel like that's really been, really getting on my nerves. I cannot speak on the McDonald's thing because there is a case, so I can't speak on that. But I haven't been, I haven't been able to wear my retainers. I haven't been able to do anything. So I haven't been to the dentist to start my treatment because basically I got to start all over. Like I'm about to be paying like almost $6,000. And then after that, I have to get my teeth done and that's gonna cost $10,000 what I got to do. So I'm like, that's literally $16,000 on my mouth. Mind you, I've already spent like 4,000 and my gap is all the way back. 
So it's not all the way back because my gap was way bigger. Like I had a bigger gap. You can see right here. So literally like I don't like the idea that I got to wear braces again. And I don't want to do Invisalign because I don't really like the idea of Invisalign. So I'm going to do the braces again. I like the way the braces work. Um, so I'm going to do it again. It's just been really stressful having to think about the shit. I don't want to do it. I don't. But I'm just going to get it over with. But, you know, I'm dealing with that. And I feel like that's been a headache itself because, you know, what happened with the McDonald's thing should not have happened. So it's just been a really headache. Yeah, like trying to come up with my my stuff for my oils, like my business. I'm like, I'm not focused on my business at all. I haven't been, I don't promote. I don't do nothing like at all. Like I don't do nothing. So I got to a point where I just would start, you know, just randomly uploading old stuff on TikTok. And I just been getting like entertained on TikTok a little bit, but now I'm locked out of my TikTok. So that been stressing me out. Cause I'm like, why every time something's happening the devil just be trying to come and want me to fight. I don't know why like that be happening. It's like the devil be just getting his head stomped on because I really don't be having time for that. I really don't play. The devil, you get beneath me, bitch. Like, you can't win. But, you know, I'm just, I'm praying about it or whatever because at this time I have been able to make income on TikTok. So I'm like, Okay, this is cool. This is good. I didn't even know TikTok really be paying. I didn't know. I thought it was just, you know, YouTube. I didn't know that TikTok actually be paying. I checked my stuff and they got money sitting in there for me. So I'm like, oh, this is cool. I'm going to be able to add this as an extra income. Soon as shit started really popping off on there, I'm, I'm back uploading. Because I just started back uploading on TikTok. I hadn't uploaded on there in almost two years. Like, I wasn't uploading. I didn't care about TikTok. I gave up on TikTok in 2021 when they kept banning me, like, for no reason. I wasn't even doing nothing. So I said, let me get this a try again. You know, I done had the baby. I don't be having nothing to do. I don't use the app. Let me start using it. I start back uploading. I'm starting to go viral again. Soon as I start getting way too much traction on there, they blocked me. Now I can't even log in. And they're holding like thousands of dollars right now of my money. There's nothing I can do. And I'm just sitting here like, how is it that every time these blessings are getting thrown at me like this, the devil be like, mm -mm -mm -mm. let me show you. And it is trying to take it away from me. I was like, you know what? I'm not going, I'm not going to think like that. I'm going to just let go and let God and just try to figure out you know, just some other little quick ventures, you know, just that worked out. It was quick. It was easy. Okay. I'm going to just start trying to focus a little bit more on my Etsy. I also had a little mishap with my Etsy too. That was a headache. Sometimes Etsy be getting on my nerves, but I'm, I'm going to start working on my Etsy again. And I guess I just got to wait on TikTok. But when it comes to them holding that money, it's kind of like crazy. Cause it's like, I could actually be using that money to pay like other bills ahead of time. Cause that's what me and my husband like to do. I love to pay a bill way ahead of time that's just something i love to do so i would love to have that so i could throw some things so i could just start buying them i need to buy them some more clothes they having a little growth spurt right now and i was like this is perfect time because i literally was just saying that i need to go shopping for them because they they hitting a growth spurt and then that happened so i'm like now nah, i'm not gonna be able to get my money that's crazy and then they only paid me like 85 dollars the other day which was weird i was like how you gonna pay me 85 dollars when y'all got all them them, that money sitting in there. That's crazy. But I try not to think about it because I don't want my blood pressure getting high. But I did get um, this in the mail. This company sent me this CMOS. I feel like they sent me this because I had been talking about it, saying I wanted to try CMOS. And this out there looks right here. It's so cute looking. I haven't tried it yet, but my mom, me and my mom have been talking about CMOS and Dr. CB. And I've always been... Wow, it smells good and it's not even open. You need another chip? So this has a lot of benefits, supposedly. So CMOS can help with a lot of immunity problems and, um, you know, help you be more spruced up, get out the bed, just help you in general. That's I've been seeing a lot of stuff, like good reviews about CMOS. And I've been wanting to try it myself. And I finally got some, it just popped up in my head. I'm like, 
how did they even like find me and send me my stuff? This is crazy. So they got my info and was sending it to me. And I think they found it from my business bulletin board. Um, for influencers, we have like an area where we have our information and if they want to work with you, they'll randomly just send you stuff. So they sent me this and you can keep it for three to four weeks in the fridge. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be taking a teaspoon every day. Add one to two tablespoons to your favorite beverage, fruit, or simply just enjoy it by itself. So that's what I'm going to be doing every day. My mom said she saw that you could put this on your face. I don't want to put it on my face. I'm just gonna be eating it and see what my results are gonna be like. Um, the ingredients are pretty cool. It only has wild crafted sea moss, apple cider vinegar, spring water, agave, and apple in organic ingredients. So it's not a lot of, there's no sugars in here. I only got natural sugars in there. That's really good. I don't want nothing that's like extra. I want something natural, be natural, duh. And it's also non-GMO, it's vegan, it's gluten-free, and it's 100% organic. So I got the wild crafted strawberry flavor. I'm gonna taste some while we on here real quick. And I need to wash my face. I haven't washed my face. I haven't done, I'm gonna tell y'all, I haven't been doing nothing. Like I really haven't been doing no self care, but I am gonna start and this is gonna be my first day today. I'm not gonna drink, okay? I do have some liquor left, but liquor don't expire, so. I'm gonna save it. I'm not gonna be drinking. I'm gonna try my best to do, I think me and my mom was saying a 30 day detox. I can't remember what we agreed on, but we still gotta talk about it. It smells really good. Okay, so I'm gonna give me a spoon and I'm gonna do two tablespoons. It's day one. Today is November the 17th, I think. All right, so I'm gonna try this every morning. The consistency is like gel. It's um sea moss strawberry sea moss gel strawberry flavor. Alright, so I'ma taste it. Okay, girl. It's actually pretty yummy. Immune defense, thyroid, digestive support, and that's a dietary supplement. So as far as the taste, I'm gonna give that a, um, give it a nine out of 10. It's actually pretty yummy. So <clears throat> I might be, um, I might add it to my shakes. I'm not sure, but I think I'm gonna do the spoon by itself. I'm so excited about just trying to start this self care thing again, because you know, it's, it's not easy. Just, you know, I, I don't, I'm not dealing with no postpartum depression. It's nothing like that. It's literally just sometimes when you're a mom and you're taking care of your family, you gotta be a wife, you gotta be a mommy, and it just be overwhelming, you know, you be, and especially being um, a stay-at-home mom. So it's like different. You don't get out and just be mingling with people and talk, you know what I'm saying? You're always in the house, you're taking care of your kids and you're cooking up, you're cleaning and you work it from home. So like everything is just, and I love that, but it's just sometimes I'll have to take the boys and like go out for a ride when he's at work, when husband's at work and stuff, because I just be needing some air sometimes. I just sometimes need to get out and see, you know, outside just to breathe a little bit. And I don't need no break from them or nothing like that. It's just, I be forgetting about myself all the time. All right, it's like, like, when I say I don't play by my motherfucking family, I really don't. And lately, I just I just want to get back into, you know, taking care of myself, too. Because that's why I was putting on my old videos, you know, just watching myself and seeing how I was, you know, maneuvering. And I was doing so well. So I'm like, yeah, this is, I literally do this. So, yeah, the first step is stopping. I got to stop drinking. I've been drinking way too much. And, of course, it does feel good. But that's just the devil trying to like really win. There's nothing wrong with having a drink every now and again, but like I've been drinking every day. I'm not gonna lie to you, I've been drinking every day. And I have did my best trying not to like eat chocolate and you know stuff like that no more. I really try not to eat that stuff no more. It's not good for me no more. I haven't had enough of it. But lately, you know, I've been eating chocolate and it's really been showing in my face. But you know, I'm gonna get off and start taking care of my face and just get myself together and just get back cute. That's all we gonna do. And I've been praying, so it's not like I stopped praying or 
talking to God or nothing like that. I pray every day, all day, all throughout the day. I could be shopping in a store. I will stop right there and I will be praying. Like God is, he by my side all the time. I'm literally a prayer away all the time. So it's nothing about me trying to get closer to God or nothing. I'm, I've been doing that, you know. My whole life I knew who God was. I grew up in the church. So there's nothing like that. God is always by my side. I'm always protected, you know. I just want to get more in tune with myself. I can't let my, just, I, I, maybe it's because I turned 30. I really don't know. I don't know. Cause honestly, after my birthday, I kind of start feeling like, okay, like that time thing start to show up. But you know, I'm real happy that I'm I, I was blessed to see 30 at the end of the day. You know, that big dirty 30, I'm up there now. I'm a big girl now. But other than that, I just, I really need to, I really need to work out. Like, I feel tips. I just, you know, I gotta fix it. I just gotta fix it. Also, husband too, like, we just wanna, we don't wanna better ourselves so we can be here for our kids. That's it. Physically, I need to get right. So, I'm about to clean up. I just wanted to have that little vent to y'all real quick. Um, I'm gonna come back in a little bit and I gotta kill this motherfucking fly because that bitch, I can't stand flies. I really hate them. Like, now, flies, I'm going to say I hate them. Like, because you're not supposed to use the word hate. But fly, bitch, I hate y'all. I really do. And I keep losing track of the little bastard. He keep going everywhere. It's like, I really need him out of here. I don't like, it's like every time I cook burgers and stuff, that the bitches be trying to come in my house. Did I get you? Obviously not. You little dirty bastard. Anyway, I'm gonna be right back. I need to, uh, I gotta take out the boys' hair and prep their hair for wash day. So it's Friday. The girls also getting their hair washed this weekend. So I gotta make some shampoo for them. And later tonight when husband is home, I'm gonna be doing my hair. I, I try to do my hair like when the baby done ate, he calmed down and husband taking care of him because JR is a fat boy. And usually if he's not, set in stone he will literally he don't care about his daddy he will just come to me so i gotta make sure he's good at first before i can try to do my hair because my hair takes a little minute it's really thick but look quick jr i'll give y'all a quick little lymph check while we on here i always you know do that the shrinkage is real so when i straighten my hair uh oh he's moving my when i straighten my hair it's really gonna be it's gonna be long so i'm excited about straightening my hair I don't think I'm going to do it yet. I'm going to wait. I'm still indecisive about when I want to do it. It's like, I really don't know when. But this is, this, this, this Bantu knot is literally, I did this a week ago. I took these out and I didn't do nothing. So it's been a week and a half. But all right, girl. I'm going to see you in a little bit. I got a lot of stuff to do. And this house is a mess. Mommy first. Bad beach lady. You know what I'm saying? Always. Y'all look at this. This is so cute. Look who it is. Junior. And me. Oh. Oh. Shout out to me and the baby. We so cute. Okay, I'm going to be back. 